Hey guys, Francis here again. Um, I don't really do a lot of vlogs. Of course, you remember Adventures with Mama Irma, right? But uh, I got a big vacation coming up to me. And, well, not that big, but there's a lot to prepare for. So uh, I'm gonna take you on a little uh, Monday morning prep for my vacation. So uh, I'll see you on the road. y'all notice that guys we hit just about every red light there was between one side of town to the other well we're here at the uh, uh, Jiffy Loop to get the oil changed and uh, so hang in there oh good I see some coffee let's see if I can pour some while trying to do video at the same time yeah those cups weren't wanting to cooperate <clears throat> Come on, come on. Finally. Easy there. Easy does it. Wow, I did it without even making a mess. It looks like they're done with my truck. So we're done changing the oil, but uh, last night I was trying to get some cash out of one of those ATM machines. It wouldn't give me any cash, so we got to go to the bank and figure out what's going on. So I'll meet you at the bank. Well, so everything is good. Apparently, uh, my old ATM card. Uh, doesn't have a chip in it and they wanted uh, a chip in the cards now so I got a new card and they uh, I tested out inside I got some cash out for my vacation and so the next stop let's see hopefully be a haircut all right so we'll head on over to the haircut place open yet we gotta wait a whole another 15 minutes so I needed to burn some time so I went next door over to Target <clears throat> just to look around did see this really nice grill for sale and um, finally went back got my hair cut and after that got my free piece of candy guess which one I got
so I had my uh, Monday morning coffee, but that's not much breakfast. So we're gonna stop by here at this Bucky's and see if we can get some real breakfast, right? Like a breakfast taco or something. You guys really don't want to watch me eat this nice breakfast burrito, do you? Mmm. I didn't think so. Okay, I'm done with breakfast. Let's uh, head back to the Hacienda and see what other kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Oh wow, looks like we got something here. Let's check it out. <clears throat> Do you guys remember me telling you about buying some parts for my uh, rock tumbler and also buying a, a new tumbler? I think this is what it is. So uh, we'll have some uh, a little unboxing too, but before we do that, I think I'll share with you what I bought at Academy and kind of explain that a little bit more. Alright guys, I'm going to tell you what I uh, picked up over Academy when I was there. Uh, if you don't remember, um, Oki, uh, Oki Fisherman, you know, he did that product review on the uh, thermal cell. Well, um, I bought one and it's working out really great because um, I've, I've been doing a lot of work in the garage. and I, since I've been using it, I haven't been bitten. So uh, here is a, uh, the package of the thermal cell, and I'm gonna leave a, a, a link to his video down below in the description. But basically, you know, it's a unit that looks like this, and uh, I just bought another one because I'm going on that little vacation trip I was telling you about. And, you know, all you do is, Put the battery in right here. A fuel cell goes in here, and then there's these packets that uh, that can um, be placed in here. And when this, when you turn it on, this will turn blue, and then you know it's working. So it works great in my garage. And I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm gonna put the link in the description to uh, his product review because it's, it's rare that you find something that really works, right? And so what else did I get at Academy? Um, Bean Boozle. Okay, I'm gonna play a little joke on some youngins during the vacation. And let's see what else. These are the replacement uh, packets. You got the little blue things I was telling you about that you put on the little burner section. And then there's like these blue, uh, butane cartridges so uh, you know just uh, a replacement and since we're going to be on the river doing some tubing I want to keep our electronics safe right and I figure at night um, I know I bought the thermocell but went ahead and bought one of these centronella candles too so we can hang out in the porch on the uh, on the lodge and enjoy ourselves a little bit more so, um, as you saw, we got some boxes to uh, unbox. So we got an unbagging, we're gonna do an unboxing. Okay guys, I got the uh, box on the um, back uh, patio here and we're gonna do a real quick unboxing. I'm not gonna do anything new as far as tumbling until Wednesday. And, uh, but I'm kinda interested because this is a pretty big box compared to my old tumbler. This tumbler is supposed to be a, uh, a 12 pound uh, barrel, and uh, but it looks a whole lot bigger than my other one that you see here. So uh, let's see what we can uh, see on this inside here. If I can adjust this a bit.
now that's, this is one heck of a tumbler here. Look at the motor, so much bigger, like four times bigger than my old motor. It's like a pretty industrial, but it does look like it takes a standard uh, uh, 12 pound barrel. So um, I have another box and uh, we'll open that up. So I think the, uh, there's gonna be some supplies in there. And some rocks. I know, I bet you guys wanted to see these boxes opened up with fireworks, right? <laughs> Sorry. So when I put my order in, I told them about, uh, I was gonna put all this stuff on my website and on my YouTube channel. They gave me a bunch of freebies, which is cool. So, looks like I got some um, free plastic pellets to help cushion the stones as they uh, tumble. Now, I have a barrel, but um, I have a lid, but I don't have an inner lid. Well, I do, but it's all rusty. So I had to buy a brand new inner lid with the uh, plastic um, gasket or whatever you want to call it. And then, I have some more of these uh, curly knobs and I got an extra, uh, oh, a belt because this old rock tumbler is pretty old. It's probably going to need some parts replaced very, very soon. And looks like I got some uh, various courses of, uh, or sizes of grit. Your size 80, 220, 600 for fine. And some polish. And I did buy quite a bit more of a grinding grits and polish. I think I bought like three of these things. That is really nice of them to uh, give me those freebies. Oh heck, they just gave me a whole brand new barrel. Oh, well actually I probably paid for this. <laughs> um, anyway, we'll move on. Now, in my little note section during the order, I asked them to pick me out some really nice rocks to tumble. Currently, we're doing some petrified wood. And it's some, it can be a, a very beautiful stone once it's polished. But a lot of this, uh, it's still a gamble. So, um, you know, some of these pieces may not turn out so great, but I wanted to show you the, uh, the effects of a tumbler by buying some um, crystalline stuff here. So, looks like uh, this might be some amethyst. This looks like it's some rose quartz. This looks like it's um, more amethyst, perhaps. This looks like some um, agate from like Michigan area. This is some blue lace agate. And I got some quartz crystals to tumble. And I got some more rose quartz. This looks like it could be some amethyst. This is some um, banded agate from Mexico. This is some um, tree agate from India. And this looks like it's some kind of citrine. It's like a yellow quartz. Ambo quartz. And looks like some more amethyst. So 
So if I opened this up and showed you what it was, it's going to be, it ain't going to be all like sparkly and pretty until it's polished. So I'm just going to open up this amethyst for you real quick. And so it's, it's a, a nice gemstone, but it'll look even nicer once I get it tumble polished. So guys, that's the uh, unboxing for this. And uh, I'll meet you back inside. So guys, I hope you enjoy this Monday morning vlog. I don't do many of these things, but uh, so, you know, I had to take her a bunch of errands. We did an unbagging, we did an unboxing. And so on uh, Wednesday, hopefully we'll be changing out the barrels on the um, uh, rock tumbler, and then um, you know on Friday expect another little funny thing, um, and then on Saturday, of course, we're going to uh, do the uh, announcement of the uh, July winner of the uh, <clears throat> Texas Road Runner Mystery Tackle Box, basically. So uh, thanks for joining me, and until next time, you guys take care. Francis Kiefel and I approved this video.